this day. Of course, I'm Craven, and I need your thoughts, guys. So like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you put something in the comments. Tell your friends if you like the video. Uh, tell them so that they can maybe gain some knowledge if there is a little kernel of something in here in, in my brain that may give you guys some help. Hey, so I was thinking, I'm on my way right now to uh, Rabbit Trail. I'm on my way right now to uh, help a friend out uh, take care of some animals. And it's 24 miles to their place. We don't think anything of that today as we drive. But if, say, vehicles don't run after a chromal mass ejection or something of that nature, this would take two, maybe three days to get to their place. You know, one day if you had a horse and you're riding and you're pushing the horse, that's eh, still pretty. But uh, yeah, those are some things to think about it every once in a while. Make sure you plan ahead. So today is another video in the series of the Western Town. Before we talked about uh, the school marm and what uh, to have hard copies of all your paperwork. Uh, buy extra books, have reference books, books on uh, flora and fauna in your area of the woods uh, and other areas, actually, just in case you go someplace else. But, you know, know what foods are edible, know what foods are good for medicine, know, uh, but have those in a hard copy rather than digital format because you don't know that that digital format will be accessible a day later if everything freaking fries or uh, two years later after the motherboard finally burns out and you just can't get to it but uh, so today we're going to talk about the builders two of the two of the main places in any western town would have been the livery stable and the blacksmith shop uh, blacksmiths of course back then put shoes on horses, did minor piddly things. But for us, we're gonna to need to know how to do a lot of metal work, things of that nature, because uh, literally sometimes fixing our own stuff rather than going out and scavenging something that's out someplace else is a better choice. And hey, let me give you an example. If you have a regular scavenging crew that is part of your uh, part of your group, your uh, tribe, whatever you call your your people helping people, they go out to get high value items. Do you really want them to have to go out and get a hoe because you broke your last hoe and nobody can uh, work on work the crops and keep the keep the weeds at bay because you don't have a hoe? Do you want them carrying a hoe back from God only knows where they find one or even worrying about looking for one? I mean, when they could be, you know, hitting all the animal shelters, looking for medical supplies, hitting all the uh, pharmacies to see what wasn't looted and pick up anything good that's still there any of the medical clinics, you know, those are going to be a much higher value target for the time that your scavengers are out and you want them going to the fewest number of places possible because the less exposure they have, the more likely they come home because that would be a high risk, high risk uh, job for any of your people. So thought let's learn how to build uh, <clears throat> let's learn, learn how to do a forge learn how to work metal I know I learned at an early age how uh, the color that the metal should be when you're hammered and, and <laughs> that I haven't worked with metal that that style that way for a while you don't forget the color that you're looking for now to get to that you got to think of all the other processes that you need in place in order to have a forge. Do you know how to make charcoal? Because one of the things that you're not going to have is the
the abundant supply of propane probably to burn hour upon hour upon hour keeping a forge hot. If you have the ability to get coal in your area, depending on what part of the country you're in, beautiful. If uh, not, you're going to have to look at making your own charcoal. So keep that in mind. The other one, okay, so the livery stable. The livery stable, what did he do? Rented out horses, carts, but he also made a lot of things. Most of your livery uh, people built saddles. They built harnesses for uh, the cows and or the oxen pulling the plows. And so building harness was a big part of what a uh, liveryman would, was capable of doing. That could very well be something that we need to learn. Uh, when we go through all this, we will have a whole lot of leather products that we will be able to build, make things out of. It would be helpful to have somebody skilled in how to build a yoke for an oxen set, you know, a pair of oxen or what kind of collar to use on a mule versus a horse. They are different, and you do want those collars fitting differently. And so, though some of our people that know animals, know horses, will know that right off, there's a lot of people that ride horses that have no idea how to hook up a wagon. Well, that's something we should put in our uh, to-do list, I guess. <laughs> and so, yeah, the builders, those, those are the two main people that I wanted to kind of talk about. Because we will, it will be good to do a lot of our own stuff. And so, a few little thoughts for you some ideas on maybe some preps that you need to put back uh, maybe learn how to do a saddle stitch learn how to uh, make a flexible harness I know I've got a long way to go there my saddle stitch does not look beautiful <laughs> I guess it works but uh, it's it's not the prettiest thing in the world so uh, hey I'm craving your thoughts let me have them throw them my way let me hit that comment hit the comments tap that out and next few videos when I get to the next set I'll do a, another one just on the comments but uh, like and con like and subscribe as well and uh, hey guys let your friends know and I hope this helped you some it's a thought something put in the back of your mind. Bye.